Hunga Savannah. Oh, yes, sir, my friends, we're going to Africa. Thank you, Expansive Worlds. The soon-to-be-released map and everything we know about it, we're going to cover that today, my friends. Talk about the species, talk about release dates. So don't go anywhere, sit back, relax, let's get right to this. The hunting community as a whole that follows Expansive Worlds had eagerly been awaiting and rather watching the progress of Doc as he traveled the world. We were given many clues as to locations as to where he would end up, and this is our final destination. That's correct, we now know that he is coming to Africa. And as we are ended up with a savanna map, there is an entirely new list of species that we have to look forward to. Now this information can be found on their Facebook. It will direct you to this list right here. And as you can see, I mean, it's glorious. We're gonna start at the top, work our way through this real quick just to talk about what we know about them and what we can expect. The Blue Wildebeest. The Blue Wildebeest are a very interesting addition. They are native to Botswana and they have some very interesting tendencies. They're mainly active first thing in the morning and afternoon. The males and females both share horns. However, the males can get a whole lot of bigger. Reaching in weight upwards to 290 kilograms. That's 640 pounds. It's quite impressive. These are going to make great diamonds. Cape Buffalo. The Cape Buffalo or African Buffalo has probably caught me the most excited out of all the new species. These bad boys can range from 1.7 to 3.4 meters long. That's up to 11.2 feet, my friends. Weighing in at a whopping 500 to 1,000 kilograms. That's 2,200 pounds. These things are the real deal. Look at the rack of horns on their head. Wow, what are those gonna look like as diamonds? I'm gonna need a bigger boot stick. Lesser Kudu. Now these guys right here are pretty interesting and a very nice addition. Think of them around the same size as what a white tail would be with the males reaching up to about 108 kilograms and the females only getting up to about 70. The horns on the top of their head can reach an impressive 50 to 70 centimeters, that's up to 28 inches long, and have two to two and a half twists in them, which make for a very impressive rack, if you will. I would think that we could take these with the 270, however the 243 might just be enough boom. Scrub hair. These little guffs are gonna be the addition of small game on our new map, and fodder for our 22. Yes, sir. The rabbits were a fantastic addition over on Leighton Lakes, and I think it's gonna be fun to hunt these guys on the new Savannah map. They have very distinct ears, however, they really look like they're gonna blend into the background. Side Stripe Jackal. These little guys will be more akin to the fox that we find currently on Hirschfelden, as they can reach up to roughly around 14 kilograms, which is 31 pounds. They have a very distinct marking and they're very, very pretty animals. I would say a small caliber is gonna take this out, as I said, much the same as the fox. Springbok. Okay, these guys are pretty cool. They are a smaller species of antelope that weigh in around 27 to 42 kilograms. That's up to 93 pounds. So they are quite tiny, but the characteristics of these beautiful creatures is what caught my eye. Look at the markings, look at the horns. These guys are quick and agile and should be a whole lot of fun to hunt. We can expect to have all kinds of fun trying to line these up if they're moving. They have the ability to jump up to two meters into the air. That's 6.6 .6 feet and it's a multiple leap. I mean, I can't even imagine. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. It's gonna put our metal to the test and make us all kinds of sharpshooters if we even attempt to take them outside of a deep zone. Warthog. Now these guys are interesting. Growing to a length of around a 4.9 feet. That's almost five feet in length. The males can weigh in at 150 kilograms. They burrow into the ground to make their homes, sometimes sharing the layer of an aardvark. However, I don't think we'll see that mechanic in the game. They should be a whole lot of fun to hunt. I would think a 270 should take these bad boys and girls out. But with those razor sharp tusks protruding on angles like they do, these should make some very pretty diamonds. <laughs> now, one of the big questions that we in our community are all asking is what type 
of gear are we gonna get? Will we get any new rifles? Maybe a handgun or two? Will we see any support gear? Is there anything else to come with this glorious reserve? I would say that myself and my line of thinking that we will see a bigger rifle of some form. I do believe the 338 could handle a lot of what we're seeing here, but perhaps a little bit more oomph is in order. Now as to when we'll be seeing this glorious new content here in Call of the Wild on PC and uh, on console is a little bit in the air at the moment. They have said or stated rather in a stream over on Twitch that they would like to have it released before the end of summer. That's only two to three weeks away at this particular point in time. They've also mentioned that it should be out by fall. Now at this stage of the game, I think that they have their hands full and they've been doing an awful great job with what we can see here and how they've led us on this beautiful dock chase around the world. But my question to you, my friends, is are you excited for this new reserve? Was Africa what you were hoping for? What do you think about the upcoming weapons and which species are you? most excited about. I would love to hear from you. Make sure to leave it in the comment section down below, my friends. And as we get more information and we become in the know, we'll make sure you become the know. And if you want to know, you're going to have to join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. It's where everything is happening these days, my friends. And it's where you can keep up to date with all of the upcoming events in our community and new content coming to Call of the Wild. Now, depending on when you've watched this video, I would like to tell you that this Tuesday coming up, which is in fact August the 14th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, our good friends over at Expansive Worlds will be going live on Twitch and they've kind of leaked that they'll be showing this map off. It will be in the form of a beta, not a finished product, but I'm going to be there hanging out and I hope to see you all there. And make sure if you do come by, let Graham and TK know that the beard sent you. If you are new here, my friends, do me a favor, make sure to smash that like button, do it with two heads if you gotta. Hit the subscribe, tag the little bell beside it. Do all the stuff and the things that are coming up on your screen right now. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in our live streams every Tuesday and Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'll catch you guys later. Yes, sir.